All right, today I'm going to be making some uh, magnetite cores. Uh, magnetite is known for being a very efficient core material. Uh, so your main ingredient here is going to be magnetite, which you can find on eBay as Fe3O4, or black iron oxide. And uh, I'm going to be mixing it with this fiberglass resin. You can find this at Lowe's. Uh, so basically, you measure out your resin and uh, apply your the appropriate, appropriate amount of hardener to it. I'm going to mix that in this dish here and then uh, start mixing in this stuff until I get to the right consistency and then I'm going to start filling my cores. Here's my coil forms I'm going to be using. Um, I got my coils right in there. Just kind of taped it off to keep it nice. And uh, on the other end I've glued on this piece of plastic to keep it off from coming out of there. I just super glued it on there and then I'll peel that off when I'm done. Um, I'm also going to be filling uh, my latest project here is sort of a Frankenstein Lindemann attraction motor so I'm actually going to be filling this rotor with the magnetite uh, material and we'll see how that works out. Uh, another thing this is just a little block that I'm going to be making um, and in there I've used petroleum jelly and just sort of uh, took a q-tip and swabbed it around in there and that'll act as a release agent so I can get it out of there um, for another thing I'm doing with it. Uh, so that's basically what you need to, to do this. Okay, I got my resin in there and I'm going to start uh, adding the magnetite. I'm just going to put in there until I think I got about enough and start stirring it and keep going back and forth until I get it. Alright, I'd say that's a pretty good consistency right there. Um, and last time I did this, I had a pretty fair amount of time to work with this. I'd say at least a half an hour and it was still workable. Um, and then within a couple of hours it was cured. Um, Alright, so now I'm going to start filling them up. Okay, I'm just about done here. Uh, just wanted to show you. You can see I've, I've overfilled them a little bit. Um, last time it seemed to shrink just a little bit. So I went ahead and overfilled them. It's real easy to, to work with uh, to sand or tool down uh, after it dries. So that shouldn't be a problem. And uh, just to show you the basic operation here, what I'm doing. I'm just taking this stick and uh, going like that. That's basically all I'm doing here to fill these things up. It is quite messy um, so I'm not going to continue to do this while holding the camera. But that's basically it. Alright everything's nice and dry now. I let it sit overnight. Um, I'm going to see how well my release agent worked here on this one. things up and get them shaped up. Alright, I got everything all sanded down and cleaned up. Uh, just used my belt sander on this guy. Cleaned my coils up. And uh, tooled this one down nice and flat for that project. Uh, little tip here, this is from Mr. Adams. I'm going to be using this for to go across the back faces of my coils here and I have tested this out on a different uh, configuration and it does make the motor draw less while uh, putting out more. So, just a little tip for you and that's pretty much it.